Hello, my name is Lawrence Anthony, and I'm going to talk today about the AndConc Clusters tool. I'll explain some of the basic features of this tool. So before I start, let me first load in a corpus, as before. So I'll go to File, Open File, and I'm going to load in the same corpus I've been using for other tutorials, which are 12 texts from a communication textbook. So I'll open that, and uh, I'll click on the Clusters tool, which is the fourth one from the left. Now, in the Clusters tool, we can search for words as we've done in the Concordance tool and the Plot tool and the other tools. Uh, but instead of showing the word in context, it shows you patterns that the word appears in. Now, the patterns here are clusters, um, consecutive sequences of words, and we can set the size of the cluster here on the right, and at the moment it's set at a cluster size of two, so which means two words. So if I click Start here, we can see that work appears in lots of two word clusters, like to work, work together, the work, work in, and so on. Now we can also see that to work is the highest frequency cluster at four, and it quickly drops down to a frequency of one, for example, will work or work day. Now usually you'll want to search for word clusters with the word here on the left. And you can do that by just clicking on, on left here at the bottom. And if we start it again, we'll now see that only the results for work on the left appear. And we now find that work together is the highest frequency cluster. And you can see here the frequency is four. And if we increase the cluster size, we can find, uh, for example, uh, work together two is a, a three uh, frequency cluster. And if we go right up to four, then we can find that work in a team, work together to find, and so on, are common clusters. As with all of the tools, um, we are not restricted to just searching for single words. We can use wildcards, we can use phrases, and so on. So, for example, if I use the wildcard uh, star, meaning anything, and start it, now we find all the work, worker, workers, uh, working, and so on, clusters. Most of these have a frequency of one here. At the moment, the uh, clusters are sorted by frequency, but we can also sort by some other options, for example, by uh, word, uh, meaning uh, it will sort uh, based on the cluster itself. So we get all the work first and then workers and working in order like that. Uh, we can sort by the word end. Uh, so now we find we're actually sorting by the word, the, the letters here. Uh, and we go down and we find here, like that. And we can also search by probability. Now this is a little complicated. It, um, it allows you to search by the probability of the first word appearing next to the second word. So let me explain that. Uh, with a, a simple example. So, for example, if I uh, have a cluster size of, say, two words and search for work, it says the clusters cannot be sorted by probability unless the option is specified in the menu preferences. So I'll say OK to that. I'll go now to the tool preferences and go to clusters and we can see that the transitional probability between first and other words has not been checked. So if I check that and apply, now we have a new column, probability. So now if I start, we see uh, the results, but we also have probability measures. Now, if the probability is one, it means that the word always appears with the other word. And uh, as we go down, we see it appears with lots of other words. So work together has work appearing with together has a probability of 0.174 or 17%. But if I now search for together, we can see that together um, appears with the word to uh, 
about 42% of the time, and with these other words a little bit less frequently. And of course some words always appear with other words, as I'll show you in a moment. So for example, let's look at the word turning here. Now, if we search for turning and start that, we can see that there's only one hit and turning appears next to turn into. And of course then, because there's, uh, it appears um, always with turning, it has a probability of one. Or we can confirm that by just floating over the cluster. You'll see the little finger appear. And if we click on that, then we go back to the concordance tool and we can see here that turning appears twice, uh, uh, turning into appears like that. And if we delete that, we can see that turning still only ever appears with the word into, which is why the cluster probability is one. There are a few other um, uh, cluster preferences and we can treat all data as lowercase and we can also treat case uh, in sort which means that we can uh, sort uh, with the capital lettered words appearing first and the lowercase letters appear appearing later and these are the same as in the uh, concordance tool okay so that's the clusters tool thank you